Update 11 is shaping up to be a game changing update for Hell Let Loose. Now, before I go into the details of the Update 11 information that we've just got, there is a PTE next week, which is starting on Tuesday, the 2nd of November for Update 11. And it is on PC only. If you want to join that PTE, then make sure you join the Hell Let Loose official Discord where there's information about how to join the PTE and notifications of when the PTE will actually go live. Now, one of the major pieces of content that is coming in with Update 11 are the long-awaited half-tracks. Now, half-tracks in World War II were pretty much armoured personnel carriers, and in Hell Let Loose, they will be a troop-carrying vehicle transporting up to eight players. So I'm guessing that's driver plus eight players. And what they're actually going to be as well is a mobile garrison. And when the half track is stationary, people will actually be able to spawn on it. I do remember the devs saying a while ago that these half tracks were intended to replace the red zone garrison. So that's building garrisons in the enemy territory. There's no notes in this update about if that's actually going to happen. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen there? Maybe they'll change that later on. Initially, these half tracks won't have a machine gun on them, but down the line, they will be adding machine guns onto the half tracks, which could pave the way for, you know, a lot of different types of vehicles and things like that. Because currently in the game, you can't mount a machine gun like in any vehicle and have like a visible player model. So, you know, down the line, maybe they'll allow tank commanders to pop out of the top of the tanks. Maybe when they add jeeps on, they'll have a machine gun on a jeep as well. You know, who knows? That will be cool, but let's just wait and see. Also coming in the PTE is the, again, long-awaited Panzer IV. And this will be the actual medium tank for the Axis forces. We have had some information about the Panzer in a previous dev update but there's no new information here. We're also getting the FG-42 in the PTE. I'm surprised that they're actually not giving us any screenshots of the PTE or any little clips of it in action, considering people are gonna be able to get their hands on it in a few days. Also the trench gun, I'm really looking forward to the trench gun. I think I'm gonna be using that gun a lot. Um, I think the key to the trench gun will be how far away it can one hit kill people if the one hit kill distance is too far it could be too overpowered if it's too short then it'd be underpowered and in close quarters proximity if you can only fire it by shooting and then pumping the shotgun to get a new round in and then shooting again in close quarters it will be pretty bad really it'll be it'll be almost like using a bolt action rifle but you won't have to be as accurate what they need to make sure they put in and what I hope they do is put slam firing in if I'm saying this correctly um, slam firing is I'm pretty sure you can just hold the trigger of the shotgun and just keep pumping the shotgun so you almost be like rapid firing the shotgun if they can put slam firing into the game and then for each successive shot when you're slam firing you you know, greatly increase the kickback of the weapon or shell spread, you know, something like that. Because, you know, they've got to balance it as well. And then in the PTE, we're getting new weather conditions. I think this might be tied to the new offensive modes that are coming in because every single map they've said is going to have two offensive modes. You know, each side attacking from their other side of the map. We're getting the new sound effects improvements for the weapons and some other stuff. But yeah, the big news is the half tracks. And, you know, like I said earlier, they can only be used as a garrison when they're stationary. So I wonder if when they're stationary, you can turn off the engine of the half track and still make it so people can spawn on it. I hope that's the case because that'll be a, a way of almost like hiding it because, you know, garrisons have the noise that they make within a certain radius. I think it's 30 meters. You can start to hear it. So, you know, you can have a half track, turn off the engine to, you know, well, mute it pretty much, you know, to stop the noise being generated from it and then have people spawn on it. And instead of one rocket being used to take out the half track, like you can use one rocket to take out a garrison, maybe it'd be two. But I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the FG-42 as well. But for me, yeah, it's the shotgun. I just, there's something so satisfying about using a shotgun. The previous PTEs have been under an NDA, meaning you can't, stream them you can't record and then make videos from it so 
I'm not going to be doing that. There won't be a video or a stream on this channel of the PTE. But when update 11 comes out, you know, expect gameplay, streams, and more update videos on the way to update 11 being released. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe for more, and as always guys, thank you for watching.